Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. When we last left off, we were exploring, trying to find our tarot cards. Um, now, let's continue, shall we? Ah, uh, we're probably going to want to drop some of those. Uh, I don't think we really need the flashlight either. Uh, I played a little bit of this ahead now. We are extremely close to the end of the game. Uh, but we still have a few different bits and pieces to do, which will become clear as we keep exploring. So, we do have a key to use. We also need to go back to the butterfly room, um, which I guess we can check out the ladder room. Have a little look in there, shall we? Uh... These gooses are cooked here. We're kind of injured as well, which... Uh, it's not all fantastic. We've got like a massive tumour in the painting uh, room, which is because we collected the tarot card. So, let's head back upstairs. Alright, this should do. Now, we've got a person down there, which is fine. Lock is defective. Alright, if you say... Ooh! If you say so. Let's check this room out whilst we're here. Use the patient key. Wonderbar. Right. This is the meat room. Alright. So this is where we need to place down our tarot cards. But we need to do that in a somewhat specific order. In the meat room. Now, we could start putting them down at random, but we're not going to bother. So, Dream Diary. Sixth night, I dreamt I was an imperial farmer. I remember my lover in the red deserts of Kaitzar. When a storm consumed us, the sand grinding us down until nothing remained. Thirteenth night, I was a worker in the mines of Leng. I was consumed by a shapeless mass of flesh. My flesh joining with the flesh of many others until only my bones remained my mind joined the collective of flesh which persists beyond death 16th night a storm raged the sky i fell near a ruined skyscraper on Ven uh, vinta but i never reached the ocean below i kept falling when suddenly lightning struck the building and i woke up 18th night I was floating in the sunless sea below, the ice of Rockfront, when I saw a large creature move in the darkness below me, the moon in the moon's dark core. Nineteenth night, I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Bayan. I was walking through the floating imperial palace when the gaze of the sun like iris burned my body to ashes. Hmm... Not fantastic, whatever's happening here. But there's our tarot table anyway. So let's remember where that is. And let's keep moving for now. We could go back through the apartments. Uh, we've got some hostiles in here. That's fine. They shouldn't bother us. I say, with utmost confidence, as they start to bother us. So there's the magpie room. Ah, oh, with an auto-injector. We'll take that. Just because. Right, so this magpie room, there's nothing we can really do in here yet. So that's fine. Oop. You know what? Let's just get this done. Ow. Ow. Might not be getting an awful lot done here. Alright, that's fine. Oof. Wow, we got hurt. Ooh. We could actually use one of these. Let's use one of those. Instantly restores all of our health. So, why bloody not? So, the dentist room. Ah... We need to be in here. Grab the 8mm ammo, some repair patches, and shotgun shells. Don't, oh, perfect. Amount of shotgun shells as well. Excellent. Doesn't waste a spot. 
We also have the red diskette, which we are absolutely gonna need. All right, let's leave these ladies here. Sit there to think about what they've done. Now, here's the interesting thing about this room. Ooh, Nitro Express ammo. Very nice. How many item slots do we have left? One. Okay. Now, here's the rub of this room. We've got these butterflies here. Now, I didn't notice this. And I was actually stuck on this for quite a while. And if you look at the butterflies, at the patterns, it's very difficult to work out. But that one's got an A pattern. That one has an E pattern. That one has an O pattern. And that one has an N pattern. Aeon. Okay, so armed with that knowledge, it seems reasonable to believe that Aeon is some kind of password for this. Okay, now I don't know if I've said it enough yet, just how freaking wonderful and incredible. The uh, music is in this game. It is superb. Pick up the moon. Now, I haven't played this game for a, about two weeks, I think. Um, because last recording session last week, I didn't actually get any time to play this at all. So, my memory is kind of rusty. What's in this one? Nothing. Um, so, luckily, I did play it a little bit earlier to get acquainted reacquainted with the game um, but obviously I've forgotten you know a few story elements and things like that right we're actually out of inventory space again because of course we are so let's go find an item box but every time I come back to this game I'm reminded just how good the atmosphere is it's oh, like they freaking nailed it man they nailed it now, I'm kind of tempted to put these cards down. <clears throat> I mean, I could technically do a little bit of metagaming, I suppose. Because somewhere here, I have the solution put down. So I suppose we could do some metagaming. So I'm pretty sure the moon goes there for rot front. I will explain how we know the solution to this. But pretty sure that's the rub. Okay. Otherwise we're just going to run into issues with our inventory. Cool. Let's go. Let's go find an item box. In fact the one we should probably go back to if I move my tablet out of the way so I can actually see the screen. Uh, my second screen, that would be fantastic. Now, let's have, it's not the ruined apartment we need to go, we need to go into the computer room. Now this puzzle is actually really fun. So we do have a disc somewhere, which we probably should be using. Uh, there it is. Red diskette. A large red mag magneto optical data storage diskette for use in office computers. The label says patients archived. So that's an optical data storage disk. So it's not... Well, it's a magneto optical data. Huh. Yeah, it's definitely not your standard floppy disk. Okay. So, use the red disk. Let's do it. And that should give us another application popping up. Medibank. So, there's just basically a load of flavor text here. Um, about some of the people. I don't know what that means. I, don't, I, I used to be really good at German. I was kind of almost, I wouldn't say I was almost fluent, but I was pretty good. Um, 
but you know that was like 20 years ago uh when i left school that's kind of just blown my mind actually in fact it's quickly coming up to 21 years ago when i left school uh and I, if you thought to yourself uh that i would never use german in my actual life you would uh, be correct so i've pretty much forgotten it all um so anyway so we have gabrielle this tells you that date of birth, where they were born, all that kind of stuff, what their occupation was. Uh, and it also tells you their medical history, which is quite interesting. Chronic asthma, osteoporosis, severe hearing loss, doctor's notes, uh, cochlear implantation requested. Requested, but will it be accepted? Who knows? And then we've got Fong. Uh, she's a, her op occupation is a replica technician. Medical history, chronic uh, obstructive plenum, plenum, yeah. uh, I can't say it because my dyslexia, but you know what it says, disease. Multiple sclerosis, insomnia, and uh, her doctor's notes, patient is forgetful about her medicine. Mm. Is that uh, intentional, I wonder? And then we have uh, Gao, who is a factory worker, medical history. Irritative bronchial asthma. Doctor's notes. Did not react well to antibiotics. We don't know what that means. <laughs> um, Erica. Who. Uh, she's a university student. Medical history. Sprained ankle. Grade 1 doctor's notes. Very active in sporting activities. And then we have. Itao. Or. However you sell that, say that name. Uh, history. Oh, she's a shop assistant. Interesting. Minor fracture, left shin, double fracture, right arm, major laceration, forehead. Hmm. Damn. Doctor's notes. Regularly treated for small lesions and very prone to accidents. Then we have Cole, who is a mechanic. History, irritative bronchial asthma. Doctor's notes removed. Lee, who's a student. Bronchial infection. Doctor's notes unknown cause. We've got Lang, or oh, Rebecca, I suppose. Uh, she's a biologist with very funky hair, I might add. Um, history sinus infection. Doctor's notes antidepressant ration was doubled. Oh. And we have Nikolai. Actually, uh, the only man that we've seen for a while in this game, uh, which is kind of strange. So, he's a writer. And history, thoracic back pain. Doctor's notes, claims to be unable to take part in communi communal morning exercises. Hmm, very sus. Then we have Ariane, who is the radio officer, history, insomnia, bruising, uh, premature acrithomotriachia. Okay, that sounds fun. Probably not. Uh, and we have Yi Siegfried, who is a cleaner, um, and irritative bronchial asthma. Uh, contact dermatitis and doctor's notes. Repeated contract uh, contact to chemical irritants during work. Yeah, that'll happen if you're a cleaner and using lots of uh, chemicals and things. Um, also, you get it a lot if you wash up a lot at work um, using dish soap, stuff like that. That can irritate your hands. Anyway, let's download these files because they're probably going to be useful. Okay, now let's sort this antenna business out, shall we? So, due to the power rating rationing, only a limited number of antenna in the grid can be powered at a time. To determine which antenna are currently powered, use the antenna program to triangulate the correct antenna. Take note of the antenna where the test signal can be heard on both dishes in the transmit program. Enter the antenna number and select the correct sound file to broadcast. Okay, seems 
fairly easy. So set your radio frequency to, I guess we're on rot C. Uh, select your radio frequency to 125. All right, we can do that. 125 and switch that bad boy on. Now let's tune in. Oh, that's pretty good tone. And then 210. So let's go to 210 on this antenna and tune in. Oh, there we go. Right, let's start scanning the skies. Receiver dish mode, duplex. Oh, here we go. That's a very familiar sounding tone. Very familiar sounding tone. We've certainly heard that. All right, let's change the transmission. And we want antenna, oh, I forgot what one it was now. 43. So let's go to 43. And we want to uh, download Magpie. Send it. Now we definitely recognize this. And I can drink coffee. Excellent. Cool. Now, we don't need that for now. You could probably guess where we're going with that one. All right. So let's go grab out some tarot cards. What else we got here? We don't need the 8mm. Don't need the Nitro Express. We'll keep the repair patches, I suppose. Um, hmm. We've got so much ammo still. It's kind of crazy. Uh, we'll leave that. Grenade shells, rifle ammo. So we've got the lovers. Uh, and we've got the tower. Alright, let's take that. Might as well go plop those down on the desk. Seems to be a reasonable thing to do. Now, what else are we looking at? So, we can go back to the ladder room. Uh, so, the magpie. I think the magpie was upstairs as well. So, let's go have a gander at that. You know what? Yeah, we could do all that stuff. No, let's go drop the magpies off, actually. Or the magpie. <laughs> the magpies off. Let's go drop off the tarot cards. Just because. So, what have we got here? So, we need the tower. Tower goes there. Lovers, tower. Like so. And we have the lovers, which goes down here. Like so. That frees up some of our inventory. And that should be... Yep, that looks good. Okay, let's go. Now, we need to go to the magpie room. Which is just this way. Let's go. I guess we can be a bit of a sneak. Doesn't matter too much if they start getting... Oh, hello. Come on, them. Let's do this. Get out of here. Go fucketh thyself. Now. Here's the magpie uh, box that obviously has the uh, speaker thing on it. In fact, pretty sure it would say that. So we need to tune in don't think it matters which station you actually tune into but there we go we'll have the store key and the star excellent nice this is very good okay so how many tarot cards have we got we only need a couple more I think so let's have a look we can go down the alley. 
Uh, or. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In fact, let's go this way. Um, actually, right. Let's go drop off the this tarot card, and then we shall go back to the alley. We're probably going to be uh, a little bit over our twenty-minute break, but it's okay because I've got yeah, I've got a little bit of time, and I do want to finish this game today. Hmm. So, what one did we pick up? I forget what it was called now. Uh. It was the star. Oh, yeah, the star card goes there. Perfect. Lovely. Nope, we don't want to pick up the star card. So, two more to find. Sweet. We can handle that. Let's go. Take our shotgun for a walk. I do think going this way, uh, probably. Yeah, through the dark apartment. Nope. Where am I going? <sighs> Can we not... Oh, bugger. The door is blocked by a mass of flesh. No way back. Ah, bastard. Son of a... Bitch. Well, I mean, the good news is technically we can still go through. We're just going to have to run through it this way. Ow. Probably take a hit or ten. Oh, it's too dark to see. Right, we can't, can we? Son of a bitch. Wait. Do we really need to be able to see? to go through that door. Yeah, we do. Ah, oh, that's kind of sucky. All right, well, we'll have to go the long way around them. That's fine. I'm pushing up to go to my inventory. Thank you. Yep, okay, well, we use a medical patch. All right, game, fine. We shall go the long way around. Let's get, ooh. We did put that back, didn't we? We did. Okay, fine. Oh, that's really annoying. Ah, it doesn't matter too much. Not the end of the world, but kind of annoying. All right. So, painting room is all locked up. We can go. Yeah. We can basically go straight through here anyway, so that's fine. into the main atrium and as we are slowly working this out. Now this is where we know what tarot card to put in what area. Tells you the planet and tells you the uh, moon phase that you're looking for. Kinda cool. Alright, so go this way. This place crawls. But we do need to go through this door. Now, if we look at the code, it says uh, ITAL there. So if we have a little look in our inventory and have a look at our. Oops. Nope. Have a look at our medical information here and find ITAL. There we go. <laughs> Now, we did actually get a uh, log in a previous video that did explain this bit um, about using a identification number for a keypad. So we've got that. I just switch over to my notes set because I've already got it written down. So it is five, six, oh. Five, two, four. There we are. Open says me. Now, unfortunately, this room is dark. But that's okay. Song of the Gods. Possession and distribution of this publication is prohibited and punishable by the Fourth Cultural Protection Act. 
There exists a connection between all of us that few us that few are fully aware of a song that we all dance to but few can hear this deep vibration of the cosmos cannot just be heard and felt we all resonate uh, in harmony with it shaping it deforming it around us those select few who can um, consciously perceive it often fear it too oppressive is the sound of the stars too invasive the noise of the unaware around them polluting the song with their fickle emotions but every once in a while some are born that can not only hear and play this music of the world but can also conduct it gifted individuals capable of manipulating the essence of the world around them many believe that the grand empress is such a being her immense will bent humanity to the empire of Eurasian and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that imbued life into the first of the machine servants that now carry the weight of the empire on their carbon steel backs. Now, wow. What a log. I couldn't find her. I've looked everywhere, but she's not here anymore. I can't go on. I'm sorry. Our dear friend. forgive me and unfortunately there goes it's really heavy that is that's our last kind of sentient other person that we've really interacted with that has kind of been progressing along in this nightmare with us and she has just turned to jam which is rather depressing because if she can find her friend then well I sold a photo of Issa wearing a school uniform and I'm guessing that's the girl she was looking for Erica picture is badly damaged yep so she couldn't find her friend but we do now have the death card <sighs> so long Issa Right, we've unlocked the door. Let's go. And this leads us into a really unfortunate position. And that's locked from the other side. Which we kind of needed to unlock. But we kind of missed that opportunity to do that. Which is really bloody annoying. So we're going to have to go the long way around. Down the meat grinder, I guess. Alright, let's go down the meat grinder. Son of a bitch. Um, can we get to the meat grinder through here? Yeah. Should be able to. Through the pipe works. That's it. We've only got one shotgun cartridge left. But, you know... Should be fine. I'm hoping going down the meat grinder is actually going to lead it to where we need to be anyway. Come okay, on. Come okay, on. There we go. Let's go. Now. Yep. That works. Kind of. Kind of works. Let's get out of here don't think there's anything in here that we can grab nope there is that that we can examine but pretty sure we already picked up whatever was there like quite a while ago all right that takes us back to the metro 
and to the save room. And that will take us back upstairs to the store fire escape. Cool. So let's go grab up some more shotgun shells. Uh, I guess we'll keep that on us. We've got the store key, which we do need to go and use. Let's... Oh, we are injured again. So let's eat that. Um, we'll take some more shotgun shells. Mm. You know, we could have some fun with the SMG. We haven't really tried that. Um, we're probably going to need that as well. Now, I don't know how good this uh, SMG actually is because I've never tried it. What is it? It's the 10 millimeter ammo. No, it's not. It's the... Where is it? It's 8 millimeter. Low recoil. And then, can we put the shotgun back, please? There we go. Um, because we need to have a little look up here. Just so we can open another path up. Let's get this... There we go. Let's give this bad boy a go. Oh, knew that was happening. Come on. Okay. Okay. It's interesting. Bit of fun. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ah. Look at that. That's a kick in the ass. That's the room. That's the other area that we could probably unlock to go through there. But we didn't unlock it. But we can't go back there now. Because there's a mass of tumors growing there instead. So let's have a look. The Red Eye. There exists a strange folklorish idea in many sectors of Rockfront related to... Uh, Pari, well, I don't know what that is. What's that? Pari idola. The tendency to see meaningful images in random patterns, like seeing a face in an ink block or letters in a smudge of dirt. It is well, no it is well known that the so-called red eye is simply a anticyclonic storm produced by high-pressure region in the atmosphere of uh, Rockfront's planet. Yet, for some of the early settlers in Rockfront, this natural phenomenon became symbolic of their struggle and way of life. That red spot in the sky became a perfect metaphor for the ever-present surveillance of the protectors and the tight grip of the central government on Heimat. Even today, the idea of an unblinking, watchful eye observing their every move still resonates strongly with the people here. During the celebration of Munfest, at the end of each season, adult citizens will sometimes give students ration marks that have been dipped in red paint. Officially, the red paint is said to represent the blood of those who died in the revolution. But the red coins share an eerie resemblance to that red eye. Or is it just Puri Idola too? Should you ever receive one of these red eye ration marks, remember to clean off the red paint with acetone or similar paint thinner. Spending or re-gifting paint-covered coins is considered to bring bad luck. Yeah, really cool bit of trivia there. Ah, uh, right, so that's that door locked off. That's awkward. Fine. I guess we're just going to go this way then instead. That red-eye symbolism is kind of everywhere. That is not where we need to be. Let's go and use the store key. What do we have? Oh, that's kind of useful. We have 8mm ammo. So we can hold 60 rounds. Makes sense. And develop a fluid. Right. Oh, P 
People's Army, 5th uh, Bintan Infantry Division, Unit 12. So there are all the people. Right. They're all the people that are on the medical file. I think. Yeah. Interesting. So I believe if we combine those two, we get the photograph that was inside the development tank. We can't use that there. This photo shows some kind of digital dot matrix code. I wonder what kind of machine could process this code. Oh. I guess we're going to find out. But. Hey, we've got it. Ah, we actually put those last few bullets in the gun. That's cool. I'm a fan. All right. So we need scanning pack station or scanner pack station. I don't think it's that that we need. Let's just go. Let's just kill these guys. Scanning pack station. Because that's where we... Oh, wait. There we go. There's the sun. Leaving. I've been found out. I'm sure the white-haired girl working for the photo store in Sector C is by resident. Be careful. They don't pay me enough to take any more risks. I'm on the next ship to Kaitsa tomorrow. Meet me at the docks in Sector N if you want to bail too. Son. Oof. I'm wondering if that was the... Um other person that was being accused. Okay, interesting. We can still go back in there. I'd have thought that place would have been gooed up by now. So, we can go back to the service room. Let's do just that. I bet if we go out there now... No, okay, we can still go in there. That's really bloody weird. Okay. Usually, if you pick up the card, the area immediately becomes, like, mutated and you can't do anything with it. Mm. Alright. So, where does this lead? Here we go. Oh, this place is really starting to get fucked up now. Well, no time for tears. Let's go head back. And with that, guys, I'm going to save it, because this episode has been nearly 40 minutes. Um, yeah. So let's drop a save there. And when we come back, I think we're going to be finishing the game. And I am really looking forward to that. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.